There's a lot of varying opinion online about how to clean weightlifting plates of rust. I've been buying old weights over the last couple of years and a lot of them have this rust problem. I'm going to talk here about how I experimented with WD-40 and or a vinegar bath, two alternative ways to address the rust issue. And what I discovered, I think, is that for light work with rust, WD-40 is quicker, less hassle, though dirty, and the way to go. For more serious, deeper rust patches, a vinegar bath is better, although, depending on what level of rust removal you're after, this may not even be enough, say, if you're after close to total erasure of the stuff. I differ from some guys insofar as I'm not interested in repainting old weights towards making them pretty. There's something fake, even prissy about that I don't like. I appreciate the rugged, weathered look of old dinosaur metal, the integrity of aging and such. I'm an old guy, so I have that kind of logical bias. Here's some examples of old weights I've picked up that fit my ideal. No or little rust, and sometimes bang to hell. Plenty used by former owners, but not abused. You can almost hear the grunts and groans of past proprietors in the time machine. And I didn't have to do any cleaning. They made it through the decades, apparently loved, is that the right word, or at least respected. My standards for rust removal may be different than yours. If you're planning on painting these things, you've got to really get all of the oxidation off or the paint will probably eventually start flaking off. So to blast away all the rust, a lot of guys use a power drill with a wire brush. Others swear by an oxalic acid bath, but that stuff is really toxic, even dangerous, and I just can't see taking even the smallest risk of injury over the relative triviality of what some old weights cosmetically look like. Me, I don't want a layer of rust like crusty dirt that soils my hands on my plates, but short of repainting a little faint rust or shallow patches may be acceptable. Well, actually inevitable. Rust is a consequence of the convergence of metal, most of them anyway, water and oxygen. So once you get the rust off, if you're not going to paint the things, you should coat them with oil or some kind of protective coating. WD-40, the first possibility I investigated, serves a dual purpose. It penetrates, it cleans, and it also lubricates, coating the weights with a protective seal. In a similar way, you've got to occasionally coat lightly naked metal barbells with some kind of protection. 3-in-1 oil is a popular choice. WD-40 comes in various concoctions, some even supposedly useful to help metals resist rust. But the version I used is the standard generic one. You can often buy old weights relatively cheaply, but they may come rusty. People are usually going to buy rusty weights for one of two reasons, or both of them. They're either interested in having old school style strength building tools around instead of new stuff, or they're looking to save money on the costs of weights, especially since prices have inflated since COVID. Depending on how seriously the plates are rusted, my experience is that if you're aiming to save money unless you're planning on purchasing a number of weights, it might not be as cost or time effective as you might presume. Unless you've got some of this stuff already laying around, the cost of all the little crap you may need to clean the plates adds up fast. Latex gloves, goggles, WD-40, vinegar, $6.50 a gallon at Safeway, a little less than $4.50 a gallon at Dollar General. Baking soda, plastic containers for vinegar and baking soda dunks, rags, wire brushes... Some folks say you want a brass or nylon brush because steel brushes are harder than the iron of the plates and can scratch them. For a while, this didn't seem to hold true for me. I was cleaning plates by hand and the steel brushes didn't seem to harm them. I presumed that this was more a concern if you used a power drill with an intensely spinning steel brush. But then on one plate, an old York that I cared about, my rubbing by hand with a steel brush left noticeable scratches across its arcing milled grain, although I'm still not sure if it actually scraped the iron or is noticeable because it indented the thin layer of what was the original plate paint. Anyway, be careful, it could be an issue for you. I'll start with a situation where WD-40 worked really well. I bought some old Weeder Go-Go dumbbells online and they came to me shipped by FedEx 
Well, the guy delivering the cardboard box they were in left them in the rain, and whoever packaged the things neglected to encase them in a kind of plastic protection. They were in the rain for a couple days, and when I found the package and opened it up, I was dismayed to see that rust had begun to grow on them, like mold. It was a pain in the butt, but I took them apart and scrubbed each part with W-40. The result, I think, turned out magnificently. It looks like these vintage dumbbells still have their original paint, and they look pretty damn good for their age, but in this case, the WD-40 got to the rust early. WD-40 cleans rust really well, at least to my standards, with small weights, where the rust isn't terribly deep. Here's some successful before and after views of small BF coal plates, an old billard plate, and a legacy. I was plenty happy with the results. Dipping rusty plates in a vinegar bath is another common way to remove rust. This is for the more serious jobs. I've tried baths that are one part vinegar to three parts water, and later one part vinegar to two parts water. You leave your plates in the vinegar bath overnight. I left the first trial in for about 15 hours. Immediately after pulling the weights out of the liquid, you're supposed to dunk them in another bath, this one of baking soda, to neutralize the vinegar's acidic action and to prevent what's called flash rusting, the rust that can pop up extremely fast as a consequence of the continued corrosion of metal by the vinegar. Alternatively, you can spray a solution of water and baking soda onto the weights. However you apply the baking soda, then dry the weights with a rag and let them dry further in the sun. After this, you need to coat the metal with a protective sealant material, perhaps WD-40 or 3-in-1 oil. A cautionary aside here, not exactly rust related. I made the mistake of buying a couple old Chinese made pancake plates where the former owner had affixed some black tape along its edges, probably to dampen any damaging impact they might have had on his floor. In retrospect, for all the time and dirty energy I had to throw at them, I should have just thrown them away. I've bought barbells with old tape around them and the stuff peeled off like a dry crust, but the tape residue on these things was horrible as if it had tap roots driving into the metal. I peeled off the tape and a resistant sticky guck clung to the iron as if for dear life. I tried both a vinegar bath and WD-40, but scrubbing the gluey stuff off was really slow, dirty, and torturous. As you see, not all of my experiments were successes. Some plates are so deeply rusted that it would take a lot more effort to get them into my own range of satisfaction. Some plates just won't surrender their brown rust flavor, even if it's relatively slight. More scrubbing and baths might improve them further, maybe longer time in the vinegar bath, maybe more intensive percentages of vinegar. But ultimately, how much time and energy do you want to waste on fighting a single plate? I can live with a little oxidation as long as it doesn't morph into the main thing you see when you look at it. A thick layer of rust like a neon billboard. Another sort of problem plate, for example, after both a vinegar bath and WD-40 scrubbing, exhibits its original paint with a really lumpy mottled appearance. It's functional, of course, but it looks like it has some sort of disease. To improve this would be a major undertaking. Unfortunately, probably a tediously intensive removal of its bumpy facade and a total repainting episode, which as I say, isn't the way I like old weights to end up. Another sort of plate like this one here doesn't have problems with rust per se, but the way it has deteriorated is that it shows three tiers of paint, including a last black one, which someone didn't do a very good job in applying. Its visual impact is like a camouflage job. WD-40 and a vinegar bath didn't really do much in terms of cosmetic improvement. So, scrubbing off rust is time consuming, dirty, and there's at least some cost to buy the paraphernalia to get started. The criteria for what's an acceptable degree of rust is up to you, of course. But if you're rolling in money, I'd buy the old weights clean. Otherwise, pick your poison. Thank <laughs> you.